Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Dislight. Um, I haven't been posting recently, I've been a little busy looking for jobs and doing some other personal stuff. Um, so I do apologize for that. Um, anyway, today we're talking about advanced strategy, because there's 9 days left in this first phase of the Celestial Anomaly. So I just wanted to go over it a little bit. Um, I did max out three Divine Essence abilities. So pretty cool. Um, it's gotten me to SSS, I believe. I think I did 7 mil damage because I got good RNG. Um, when the blockade tactic is maxed out, you have a chance to apply a new lockdown effect, um, which is very good. And if you have it at level 10, the enemies just take more damage, 30% more damage, um, which can boost your score a lot. So very good. Um, and then there's a 10% chance of applying lockdown effect again, which is was really broken. They just stay in the same place um, on the AP bar. So that one's good. Um, this one is pretty good because it increases resonance fate or it increases damage based on resonance phase um, which is very good 24 boost to base HP attack and defense as well so just very good overall and then final as per damage is plus 10% so it's good in every single battle it's it's really good um, I'm pretty sure these are gonna expire in nine days because it's the first phase and um, after the first phase, it's well, this specifically says um, boost stats in uh, the Raging Line or Wither Messenger. So, I do believe after this, you're going to have to restart a new tree or whatever, like the Soaring Goat and then Sunken Viper down here. Um, hopefully, you just keep it and then you can keep doing the Raging Lion. So, maybe it's just, it'll be here with the Raging Lion Sorry, with the Soaring Goat and the Sunken Viper event. Um, we will definitely have to wait and see for that. C can't confirm that. Um, but yeah, very cool. Very cool. Excited to see what the future holds. Uh, I'm just hoping that they'll start to get more paid. Really um, so yeah, that's how I maxed out my Divine Essence. I just didn't go past floor 19. And finally maxed out these three. Um, and I went past floor 19 like two days ago. So yeah, uh, you do have to like make sure that you are get good luck. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to get the Divine Essence you need to max out your abilities. And that's going to really suck. Um... But yeah, I maxed out three of them, so that's pretty lit. And uh, there's some of the good ones. I need to max out this one. They're all good, obviously, but some of them are better than others. Just in base. They're base abilities. This one is very good. Um, but I have to get to that floor, which I believe is floor 40. Cause, or floor, yeah, because I'm already on floor 34. Uh Right, four forty-five. Oh, you get it for floor forty-five. Sorry. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, yeah, cause there's this. I think there's a equal chance to receive any of these. So, except when you max them out. When you max them out for some reason, or when you're close to max them out level fourteen, it becomes really hard to get a specific divine essence. Which is why I did it this way, so that I could have the beginning ones maxed out, and if I get extra, then, then whatever. So you can see I have one extra here, two here, and then three, I believe, for this one, yeah. But it is harder to get them. Um, specifically because I unlocked this one, passing floor 20, and then passing floor 30, you unlock this one, I believe, um, or 35, whatever it is. And I've been getting mostly this one because it's a lower level than this one, um... Before, I was just getting this one, basically, and somehow I was able to get two of these blockade stacks, and I needed one more, so that was good. 
but yeah, maxing it out is very good. It's very powerful. I'll do a run with you guys and show you my score. Um, but yeah, and then obviously upgrading these will increase your HP attack bonus and defense bonus. Um, I think they didn't give you speed and crit damage because Mateo already gives that. So yeah, um, not crit damage, but speed specifically. But they do give you everything else that's important. Attack, base attack, defense, and HP. So it'll just buff your espers a little bit, um, which is very good. Um, and these don't really matter They, in what order you upgrade them, I think. They just increase as you level them up, so they'll cost more. So obviously leveling up the ones that are lower gets you better incremental value, but you have to wait longer for some of them to max out um i don't think it really matters if you max out a specific one because they they all increase five percent every time you upgrade i think um so yeah you can see your total bonuses at the top but um yeah a little bit more than halfway but we're almost done to maxing out four of them we do have this extra effect so that's good but we only have elemental advantage in the weather messenger right now um but yeah it's very interesting how this works um it's not that hard to max them you just had to have follow my advice and not go past for 19 because otherwise you it's too big of a chance and it's equally spread because you unlock them all around the same time and you have not very high level um essence abilities so when you try and open your um, crates or whatever they are, the Divine Essence crates, it'll give you a mix of all of them, but it won't. It will be hard to max out a single one. Um, so I tried to keep it at thirty three percent chance, which is why I didn't go past floor twenty. Um, but then yeah, once you max them out, it, you kind of just have to bite the bullet. And so what if you get Divine Extra Essence? I mean, it sucks. I, I really don't like it, but it's not up to us. Um, yeah, I, I think they should just give you what well, you haven't maxed out yet, just to make it go easier. But it is what it is. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do Chimera now. So as you can see, we got 7.5 mil, and we're third place now. So we did move up, um, and it ends in one day. So we've been third place twice, which is good, consistency. Um but yeah, I guess I'll just show you how my team works. So, Mateo will increase the speed of everybody. Um, Nyx and Heimdall have ocean sets. Um, and, well, I think you have sh shield, whatever these are called. Um, Aegis sets. Um, just for a little bit extra shield, it, I'm pretty sure I could just give her a counterattack or crit, but I gave her that. Um, somehow, sometimes my uh, team survives, so it's good. But the ocean set is really the only thing that I'm looking forward to being on her because... Um, actually, we can probably max, max some, some of the ocean set out. Let's do that real quick. I have 5 mil gold. Okay, yeah. Um... Just to increase her stat base stats. Um, if she survives longer, it's definitely better for us. Your, I think everyone else is good. Even Brewster, I have, yeah, maxed out. Um, Heimdall, I don't have maxed out. Mateo, I don't have maxed out, so I might do his piece. And of course, I have get maxed out. That's just a, a given. Auto enhance to 15, instant. It's also good just doing this because it's part of an event. Um, 1 million gold, yep, sounds about right. Um, yeah, we'll enhance this one too. I mean, it's uh, superior, so. And it's also mythic, so why wouldn't I? I'm not going to do the Aegis Gold or Aegis Legendary Superior because I can get better uh, equipment than that. I just don't have the time for that right now um and then enhance this one as well gonna have like no gold after oh it was only eight mil 
Still like no gold. One mil, one mil gold is not a lot. Yeah, so they should survive because before they were like dying on one HP. So, but yeah, we were able to lock down the, tar the uh, enemy pretty well, the raging lion. So yeah, everyone gets speed. Um, I gave Brewster a little bit of Hades healing and counterattack, mostly for the extra hit, but also um, he is well. I guess just to heal him a little bit. So that um, when I'm healing people, it's mostly just these three espers and Geb. Um, it kind of balances out the healing a little bit because my team isn't um, super high resonance or ascension. No, it, it is ascended all the way. It isn't super high resonance. Um, so it's they have very low health sets. Um, so having Brewster with Hades sets will help heal him um, so I don't have to divert all of my healing to every single esper and Brewster can kind of just heal himself he does that naturally with his um reload stacks but then with the Hades set it just a redundant effect um so it makes him a little bit more tanky um which I like then uh, obviously like I said Heimdall with the ocean set and same with Nyx not because they do well Nyx she does multi hits that's specifically for her uh, Heimdall specifically for her AP ability on her uh, ultimate um, the more AP stacks or the Rainbow Bridge stacks we get, whether we get attack or do deal crit the enemy, we deal extra damage and gain AP. Um, because it's enemy loses HP or sorry AP and then you gain AP, but you're not taking the AP away from them. Um, like if you read her ultimate, when an ally triggers a crit for Rainbow Bridge, they deal additional true damage. Up to 100% of Heimdall's attack. Um, reduce AP target by 10%. When they are critically attacked, an ally increases all allies' AP by... T okay, when they are critically attacked. Um, yeah, when an ally is attacked by a critical hit. Yeah, okay, and that usually happens. Um... So it's mostly for the true damage. I guess getting hit back, you just increase your AP. But you also, when you do a crit, but I guess um, they have no AP down effects. I think this boss does. Um, so yeah, and then Geb is there because he's also an Imprisoner. He does multi-hits, he heals, and he does stack uh, base and attack and speed. Um, with the support songs, which is very good for Mateo and just the team in general. <clears throat> so yeah um that's my team and uh, i'm pretty sure you've seen other people use a similar team um but yeah very powerful this this loads eventually but yeah so there's the sunken serpent and whatever the goat was called so we do have to get good RNG, um, but I mean 14 stacks with the 5 hits from um, Nyx is really good because it's usually 15, uh, and that's not counting the stacks that, okay, yeah, now he's locked down. Very good. So it's taking 30% more damage, the Raging Lion, with the stack because we have our ability maxed out. Um, and we're doing 10% final damage. So there's just a lot of things going on. Um, it's like the little boot debuff. Okay. Get them another flame stack. We should be able to lock him down before he gets to his ultimate. We're going to deal like seven, okay, 20 stacks. That's very good. And we should be able to get it to level 2. Yeah. Here we go. Perfect. So good RNG plus um, just having abilities that are maxed out Divine Essence can really push your um, score because that's how the event was designed. It was designed so that the Divine Essence helps everybody. Um, as you can see, we took like no damage there, but his ability is back up to five. So, But we are at the beginning and we're basically halfway to locking him down. So good RNG. 
And then counterattacks with uh, Geb is just amazing. Honestly, I should probably put... Oh, wait, no, because this is a basic attack, so it's definitely better on him. Um, yeah, and, and now we locked him down again. He only, he hasn't even done his second attack yet. So we should be able to lock him down again if we get good RNG. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're basically already at 3 mil, which is insane. Um, so yeah, we're getting ability cooldowns, which is good. We really just need them when... Um, yeah, we need... We need Okay, yeah, we're good. This is 70 right here, yeah. And then an extra stack to everybody else. And we just have to keep his... Oh, okay, we're going to keep his ability below level 3, hopefully. Um, 68k, that's insane. Uh, 134k. So really good. Um, but yeah, we, we are upgrading everything in Divine Essence, which is pretty much all you have to do. Um, the more you upgrade it, the better it is. Uh, we're almost at 4 mil, actually, but I'm pretty sure we've gone further than this. Yeah, so we survived with 1 HP. So we can we can live the next attack. Okay, well, that's retarded how the boss can attack before us. How, how the fuck does that work? Seriously. How in the hell does that work? It's probably one of his stupid passives, but, um... Yeah, we survived. Um... Probably not the best because somehow, some way, the boss attacked before when we're supposed to have our full turn before. So don't know how that works. Um, yeah, and then now we just don't have AP control. And uh, that was almost our gab right there. Yep, there goes everyone else. So, well, actually, we got we got locked on. So. We can deal a little bit more damage here, but it's not going to be a lot because we only have three espers. We got up to 7 mil last time though, but yeah, it's all about RNG at this point. It's not even about the skills and power of my... Well, it is kind of, but I'm pretty sure this is the end here. Or if this boss is going to... Whoa, what is going on? Wait, what? Is that a bug? Um, wait, what? His AP wasn't moving. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. We also have not gotten a second locked on effect. Um, if we were able to get that right now, that'd be awesome to show you guys. But yeah, we only got six and a half mil there. Um, our last record was seven and a half. I wish I could have recorded that one. Um, but yeah, it's all about RNG. Um, and just getting lucky, really. That that's all it is. Um, so very cool. And um, I'm probably not gonna get to EX or beyond this. Honestly, I have to upgrade my stacks um, of my divine essence a lot more before I can just go ahead and rush the chimera again. I mean, I can keep doing it to try and get a better score with R through RNG, but honestly, I think seven and a half mil is probably the best I'm gonna get. Um, but yeah, that's just the team I was using and very powerful, very powerful. Um, uh, it's all about AP really and dealing crits with, um, well, Heimdall. I don't think you need Heimdall. You can probably put a different Esper there, um, for like cooldown reductions and stuff. Yeah. The only reason I have her is because it's basically a crit team, um, with Brewster and Mateo and Nyx. They're going to crit, obviously. Um, and they... Well, Brewster boosts his own AP. Mateo boosts his own AP when his teammates crit and when he crits. Um, and then Nyx... Oh, no. Heimdall increases AP and decreases AP of the enemy with crits. But you have to be crit in order to increase your AP. And you have to crit the enemy in order to decrease their AP. Um, but you also do true damage. So she is versatile, but she's probably not the best Esper on that team. Um, she's like the best substitute I have, though. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. I don't really have anything else. I've just been grinding otherwise. Um, 
yeah, and I'm going to try and get another Legendary Esper through my Golden Records. I have 23 records left um, before I get my Legendary, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they made Divine Essence like this. If they were going to give you such horrible chances of maxing everything out, they should have at least either let you choose or... Um, give you only essence that you have not maxed out because at this point it's just it's not impossible because you definitely get the ones you haven't maxed out much easier but it gets harder towards the end to max them out which i think was their intention just to slow down progress on some of the free-to-play accounts um yeah i can't really do oh i can do flow for that for that um difficulty maybe um, what next Esper? I'm trying to max out, uh, Mateo, probably. Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll upgrade his abilities once or twice. I mean, it's just damage, right? Okay, well, I'm going to just do auto-suggest here. For that. Um... <clears throat> Just because I have extra tickets, so might as well get extra materials. And got some APEP stuff that's useless because we can just fuse and also just rush higher levels. Um, I don't have Hell Mode Story right now because I need to make a perfect team for that. Um, honestly, I might just use Control. If it works but most of the time it doesn't <laughs> just because of all the immunity um oh they have stun tyrant rings they're only flaw well not flawless i forgot what i forgot what two and below is because i don't really use two gear um unless i have nothing else to use except for that still really strong though help out our teammates this resets in one day so we can get another legendary abilamon that's good um nothing here i already bought stuff nothing here i already bought stuff actually let me get two of these um i mean yeah just grinding um i showed you my divine essence uh, which is pretty much the whole premise of what the video was. Don't know why they're doing it like that, but I, I think I found a good way to max them out. Um, and you get good RNG, you get good abilities, so that you could potentially get 7.5 mil if you have a similar team to mine. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else. Like, really, it's just grinding. I guess I can do PvP content, but... I mean, it's not as exciting as other content, in my opinion. Actually, let's see what the Miramon wave is. Because, uh, I don't know. For every one speed, he gains plus crit damage. Alright, I mean, we can see. This is pretty much our same lockdown slash multi-hit team. Um, yeah, let's just go with this. Oh, wait, no, we don't get speed. I'm so stupid. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> um, we don't get attack from there, so I guess we do attack from here. Yeah, please tell me you're attacking this dude. Okay, good. <clears throat> and the only, um, like, AoE attack we have is from Heimdall, and she does not do a lot, so we should be fine. Oh, come on. Don't stun my Mateo. That's like the bulk of damage. And actually, we're just going to use a cooldown reduction as soon as we can from uh, you. Just so that we can get the supporting sound stacks as fast as possible. Because it does increase crit damage, which is good. Uh, but Mateo's only, so... <laughs> 
I mean, 12k for base attack, that's not bad. Oh, I used the wrong thing. That's fine. We do this first so we can get some good crits. Okay. Counterattack is going perfect. So that's fine. Get some buff blocker. Get some defense down. Now we can use your ability. Deal some insane damage right there. Okay. Hopefully we stun at least one of the... Oh no. I did not want you to do that. We just need to keep them alive as long as possible. If we can get to S and keep them alive, that would be amazing. Okay, we have you an A right now. Now we have you at A+. Plus. <laughs> yeah, really, Mateo is the bulk of this strategy. I mean, 15k now with base. Really good. We're almost at a million damage. Yeah, now he killed him, but that's good because we get a full we get a full turn. There we go. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Increase the AP reduction here. Okay, now we're just gonna AI it. Because all it really has to do is use our ultimates. And there's, yeah, there's a lot of stacks taken off, so. Yeah, that's good. That was good RNG. Now we basically just have to wait. Oh, okay, wait, never mind. She can take all of the stacks off. That's pretty good. The good thing is that we still crit through the shields with um, Nyx and Mateo's, well, Mateo's ability specifically, but it's just good. Okay, we probably can't get any higher score than we used to before. Oh, actually, we might be able to. Yeah, we just have to wait for our abilities to come back up. Okay, that's good. Rainbow Bridges. Increase the AP. Oh my god. So stupid. Okay, now we use your ultimate. Finally. There we go. Come on, good skill, skill reduction. Okay, that was the bad time to use that. Should have used that. That's fine. It's fine. Extra damage. It's fine. You should have just used it when uh, he had the actual shield stacks on. Okay, now. Please. Oh, no. You only had the one ability. Yeah. Oh, my God. So stupid. And he gets a multi-attack, so he just takes another turn. So stupid how that works. It's going to take no damage here. Yep. Okay, well now the abilities are cooled down. So, yeah, okay. Now we reset everything, basically. So after this run... Oh, there's the counterattack. Okay, he's waiting for that. It's not going to do anything. That's not going to do anything as well. Oh, come on, Nyx. Where are your ability cooldowns? Where's the good RNG, huh? You still have good RNG. Yeah. Not much has changed. Still number four. That sucks. Um, can't really get past that. That sucks. It's pretty much have to wait for good RNG. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, this is AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out, keeps you up to date with my content. Um, 73, 74 subscribers going strong last time I checked. So you guys are amazing. Keep going. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully more videos to come soon. But uh, that's all I have for this like today. So thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys later.